Welcome back to Silent Hill. Before I continue on, I just want to touch on something that I've changed about the emulation to, I think, increase the performance. It certainly has increased the performance inside of this diner where I was previously getting about 20 FPS. I'm not trying to get like 60 frames per second HD Silent Hill, but I mean, I would like it to at least be a consistent 30 and it's been 20 in here, really noticeably choppy and unpleasant, and it's been even lower in some other cases. So I just looked into how I can fix that, and I think I have fixed it in a way that's so interesting that I actually want to explain what I did. Within the emulator, there's something called GTE overclocking. Uh, GTE is a coprocessor inside of the PlayStation. It stands for Geometry Transformation Engine or Transform Engine, something like that. Basically, it's a coprocessor that works alongside the CPU to uh, it's meant to be used specifically for doing 3D work. And this game, of course, obviously is, well, basically entirely 3D. So it makes very heavy use of the GTE. The reason it was choppy, I'm pretty sure, is just because the game actually would have been choppy playing on an actual PlayStation 1 because the emulator is emulating the speed of the PlayStation. So if the original PlayStation would have been choppy, the emulator unless you change things, will be choppy as well. So I turned on a GTE overclocking. What it does is actually really neat. It doesn't actually overclock anything technically. Overclocking is when you increase the uh, the speed of something's ability to process. So say if we turn the CPU in the PlayStation from doing 30 something megahertz, to doing like 50 megahertz, then that would be overclocking it. Basically it would allow it to process more instructions per second. And an instruction is something like add these two numbers together or multiply these two numbers. The thing about instructions, though, is that there's a lot of different instructions and they all take different amounts of time to complete. If a CPU had a speed of one hertz, one hertz would indicate that it has one cycle per second. And for each cycle, that's basically an opportunity for it's like a distinct unit of time that the CPU can use to actually execute these instructions. The instructions for the GTE tend to take a lot of cycles to complete. It's highly variable depending on what the exact instruction is, but some of them actually take upwards of 40 cycles to complete, which means you tell it to do, like let's say the speed of the GTE was 40 hertz, meaning it could do 40 distinct, potentially distinct instructions uh, per second. But if it is issued an instruction that takes 40 cycles to complete, then it will only be able to do that one instruction in that one second because it would take all 40 cycles to do it and what gte overclocking does rather than actually increasing the hertz or megahertz or gigahertz of the gte processing engine what it actually does is just removes that latency it removes the really long cycle times that some of the instructions take and makes it so that they all only take one cycle because the cycles are just being emulated right it's just emulating the fact that a certain instruction might take 20 or 30 cycles. So if they want, and what this option does is it says, well, we'll just emulate it so that every GTE instruction just takes one cycle. So it's not actually increasing the Hertz of the processing unit, but it essentially is doing the same thing where it allows it to do more with the same amount of resources. And what that's done in the, in this diner anyway, is taking me from 20 FPS to a solid 30. Hopefully that'll be the same outside. I hope that was interesting. That ended up a lot longer than I wanted it to be. Yeah, uh, let's go. By the way, I have to constantly move, like spin in a circle, if I want to stop Harry Mason Jar from panting like a dog. And that is because we're extremely hurt. Practically dead, I need a health drink very badly. So, our goal is to head to the Midwich Elementary School in the bottom left of the map. Yeah, if you look down there, we need to head there. We found a note from Cheryl in that alleyway that indicating that we should probably go to the elementary school. So let's start to head there. Gotta say, it's a really long way to the school. I can't imagine it's going to be smooth sailing, which means I'm worried about dying. But, uh, well, let's go for it. I think I'm just going to head straight down the road. This way? Just go all the way? And then take a right? No! <laughs> oh. Oh. 
I thought I probably only had one hit left. Okay, I'm gonna try to kill it. Because those things are really annoying. Where are you? Is it behind me? There you are. Hasn't seen me yet. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know why Harry didn't point their gun at them until I tried to press the fire button. I thought they pointed it before pressing the fire button. So I kind of waited until I got super, super close. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it wasn't dead. I'm glad I tried to examine it. I should reload my pistol. Okay, so you don't have to like... Wait, reload, reload. So it looks like you can either reload from the pistol itself or reload from the ammo for the pistol. And they both do the same thing. Alright. Let's keep going straight. I'm going to stay to one side of the road just so I have a chance to see buildings and stuff. Alright, I can't look up and down when I'm in this view mode. I wanted to look up at that sign. I think it was like burger or something. Queen Burger. Right now I just want a health drink. Wait, what am I doing? I'm not continuing down the road. This is the road to continue down. Oh, fuck. God, I just want to kill all those birds. They're so annoying. They're like the, what were they, the Silt Striders? From Morrowind? I feel so bad kicking them though, they just sound like a little squeaking rat. Huh, it seems to have auto-loaded itself somehow. I'll take it. Mm. Bachman Road. If I remember right, for at least one of the Silent Hills, all the street names are named after, like, horror authors and stuff like that. I don't know if that's the case for Silent Hill 1. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be as simple as just going to the elementary school. I'm guessing I'm going to have to find a particular way to get there. This way is obviously a no-go. Oh good. Harry marked it on the map. Yeah, the road just ends. I'm doing this to stop the breathing sound. <laughs> it just stops. It's interesting. It doesn't stop like it's just part of the bridge has just disappeared. But it stops like it's been torn away, right? It's not its not like a pretty cut or anything like that. It's kind of like violent. Chunks are missing. What's this one? E. Matheson. Oh, there's an old Silent Hill? Inside of Silent Hill? Uh, let's keep heading straight. Fresh roasted coffee? No? 
Eh, no, 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 no. What? What am I hearing? I just desperately want a health drink because I know I die in one hit. What is nearby? Wait, is this the alleyway? Or just an alleyway? Yeah, it's just a different alleyway. There's probably a dog down it, just like there was with the other ones, so I think it's the alleyway I should avoid. Let's keep going straight. Hmm? What the fuck is that noise? Surprised it was just staying put. I don't care if I waste a bunch of ammo, I am not dying from a single hit. I hear it. I hear you flapping. Wow, they go far. What is that place? Totally locked. Is it a bunch of mud, rust, something coming out of it? It's that big grayish thing on the map. Alright, I'm just gonna keep going. Another thing? Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep going. Too dangerous. Oh, tricky. It was catching up with me. Yeah, so it can fly faster than I can run. Seems like I scared it away by shooting at it, though. I wonder if that did actually scare it away. Oh, fuck, not another one. Fuck off. Oh, God, not this again. Doghouse, Levin Street. Doghouse Levin Street. Levin Street. Where's Levin Street? Oh, oh, I see it. Yeah, it's just a little bit back from where I am. Right there. Well, if there's a doghouse, then there's probably a dog. I really want a healing potion. I mean, health drink. Where did the blood come from, huh? Oh, I love that so much. And you hit something really fast. It's gotta be faster than that, though. I kinda wanna just explore for a health drink, because I'm like pretty desperate for that. Well, I guess I'm already going on Levin Street anyway, so I'll do both at the same time. How much ammo do I have? Six shots and that's it. That ain't much. I love that the mailbox is just kind of fallen over.
Yeah, there's really no reason to try all these houses, I guess. None of them ever have anything to say when I try to use them. Oh, there's a dog. I have to try to shoot it. I mean, if it attacks me or I attack it, I have to try to shoot it. I can't take it out with a knife because I'm going to die in one hit. Has to be the gun. I hope it dies in six shots or less. I could try to avoid it. What is that other noise? There's another one here. It's not the dog. Wait, it's still alive. Sorry, doggy. There's the doghouse. What is that noise? Is it the other dog? That's it for my ammo. Oh, right, I have a steel pipe. Long range, but of limited use. Hard to use, but better than nothing. Um, I'm gonna go with the range. House key was hidden in the doghouse. Take it? Yeah. Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual? Nothing unusual. Harry, why don't you just take a look around at the fact that there's a pool of blood in and around the doghouse, and you just killed two highly mutated dogs? I mean, you haven't been in Silent Hill that long, that's pretty unusual. So, what house is it for? If I'm lucky, it's this one right here. Oh, shit. Well, thank god, a house is probably almost certainly going to have a health drink. Or is this a med kit? What is that? Oh, yes, first aid kit. Take it. Shove it in wherever my wounds are. Heals injury to provide moderate stamina recovery. Ah. Oh. Now we have peace and quiet from Harry's panting. That's so nice. I love it. <laughs> I love the way I pivot around the right foot. Harry's tactical maneuvering. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, so there's sort of a... I guess you could say like a really, really light combo system with this thing. If I just press attack once, they just attack once. But if I press it multiple times, it attacks in bursts of two, but then you have a bit of a, a weight in between. So it looks like it's, I guess... Most efficient to attack twice, really quickly. Whack. Oh, what was that? Oh. There's also like a strong attack, I just realized. Yeah, bursts of two. A single one. Or if you hold down the attack button. I guess that's a strong attack. I love that sound. Like it just feels like a creaky sound, along with how everything looks creaky just because everything's so distorted. Just from, you know, being on old hardware and everything. Everything always looks like it's kind of swimming. Handgun 
bullets, yes. TV set, power must be out, it doesn't work. Nothing special. Just wonder if I could, like, break this pot or whatever it is. Looks like a couple people are drinking tea or something. Oh, that's a save point. I'll wait till I've explored around before I save. Health drink? Yes. Refrigerator is empty. What is that painting? Can't tell. It's too low resolution. I like how when you enter this this view though, it, it's right in front of the painting. They know that you might want to look at the painting and they offer you the option to do that. And I love how it swims around as you move the camera. That's again because of the just the way things were rendered and, and the hardware that it's on, just kind of limitations. Something is written on the map hanging on the wall. Oh, there's a bunch of things on there. Copied it to the map. All of it? Well, not all of it. So, what's new? There was the... Hold on, I actually want to look at the other one. Oh. So, keys for Eclipse. Is that talking about... Wait, what is that talking about? Oh, I think the, the words key, keys for Eclipse, I don't think that has anything to do with the location where it's written. I think that's probably talking about what the other things are. Keys. Multiple keys. And I see three things marked here. Does that mean each one is a place where there's a key? So at the end of Elroy Street, and then all along that alleyway over there, behind the cafe, and then up and to the right, it's an arrow for some reason. Maybe indicating you like move across the road, bridge, whatever that is. Oh, there are three locks, yeah. This must be the things I need the keys for the Eclipse for. Save again now that I've read that map, just to make sure I never lose that. Should I switch to my pistol? I do have 30 rounds for it, but yeah, let's do it. I don't know how much I should be conserving ammo. Like, I don't know if ammo is super scarce in this game. Right. Where should I head first? Well, I guess we'll head to the alleyway behind the cafe. Yeah. Let's head up to Finney Street. And then take a right. There's so many of these things. Should I really shoot them? I don't know. I'm going to run right now. Is this Finney Street? 
Oh yeah, we're already on Finney Street. Wait, I, I'm not going backwards, am I? No, we're good. I'm gonna be checking the map every like two seconds. So this is the road that has the cafe on it. We're looking for the alleyway behind the cafe. So should be somewhere here on the right. Oh, there it is, I think. But also what's this? It's nothing. That's not the alleyway, is it? No, we're just on the corner. That's a weird little nook. Yeah, just a nook, nook for hanging out. Hiding from monsters, maybe. I'm trying to read what that says. I have no idea. What is it? One way. Yeah, so there should be something in here according to that map. One of the keys. Should I be searching the garbage cans? Probably not. Otherwise, I think Harry would say something. Yeah, so, before, sometimes my pistol had reloaded itself. This time, it didn't. I, I don't exactly understand when it reloads itself and when it doesn't. Maybe you need to wait a certain amount of time after combat. And I hadn't waited long enough for it to kind of put you into the, hey, you're at a combat mode. And that's when it reloads. I'm testing if the footsteps pick up the blood. I don't think they do, no. Off limits. <laughs> of course it opens. Before that, what's in the rest of this alleyway? Where do they keep coming from? Like, I'm starting to think that they might just be spawning. <laughs> yeah, it really feels like they might just be spawning. If so, then I really don't want to kill them because they're just going to be a constant drain, drain on my ammo. Wait, it comes out to a road? Oh. For some reason, I was... I read the words dead end, but I was thinking... Or not dead end, uh... I read the words one, one way and thought dead end, but no, it's not a dead end, it's one way. It just means it's not wide enough for two cars. Although it actually kinda is. So I guess the one way is wide enough for two cars, and then the normal roads are wide enough for, like, four. Oh yeah, they're definitely spawning. I'm not gonna kill them. There's another one. Somewhere. So where does this take me? Okay, just someplace behind the cafe. Did my weapon automatically reload itself? It did. Okay, so I think it does it just after a certain amount of time when you're out of combat. 
Oh god. <laughs>